Hello, everybody, and, uh, welcome to the next game, Her Story. If you'll give me a minute, it's still loading, hence, you know. Oh, crap, okay. So let's go. Alright, let's go like that. Oh, I love the music of this game. I could have gone lower quality than this, which is why I did for Bully, but that didn't work very well, so... Trump's murder. Dang it! All right. Darn it! I need to find some. Okay, let's just do murder. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Yeah, that's me. But February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Someone named Simon was murdered. How I remove from session. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories. Okay, let's try Simon. Wow, got a lot for Simon. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. Alright, let's see it. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. I'm gonna look up Peter after this. Yes, there's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, climb the tower, save the princess. Anything. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or 
there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? So now I'm going to look up Peter, see if anything important comes up with that. Just the one. All right. Uh, accident. Let's try this. Um, when I was eight, mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day and I left. Walked out and across the street. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing, leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. He sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in. If he's in the house. Alright. Author Simon authorized guest at the course. So. Oh, I can move this. Southeast Constable. Clock. 16 hours. This is 4 in the afternoon. me text, instruct me introduction to the logical database. So this must be their first case if it's the same woman and all of them. Or at least it appears to be the same woman and all of them could be twins, who knows. Rubbish bin. I want to play the mirror game. Player one wins, yay! Okay. And then, hack. So someone hacked in the mirror game? What's so important about the mirror game, I wonder? Cracks with cracks. Huh. Well, 
happens if I exit out with this logic section? Oh, okay. I get it now. His body. It did not real. His throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. Cut. I'm going to look for an next word. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. Sorry, sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. So Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. I mean, you're using colour. Yeah, I know that salt snake shared well, the with me. She wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. This is what I was looking for. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. So I know two of them have fairy tale, but let's go real life fairy tale. <sighs> we were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. It's not like life. A very we had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. I'm gonna go out on a whim here just to see. Ah! What did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, oh, I didn't David. kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! Baby. Hair's different in this one than the others. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saying for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. No, I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. It was after dinner. 
I had spoken to Simon's parents on the phone. I'm going to go miscarriage. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mum had said. She'd been speaking about hey. old stuff, sad stuff, about when we lived there, about the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile, was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. Is that how you spell miscarriage? I think I spelled that wrong. Let's just go miss care. something in the food they ate. My dad liked to pick mushrooms, one, grow them too. So they said it was the mushrooms. I know how it ends. It yeah. was hard to believe. I saw it Death a while caps. ago and I forgot how it ended. So they have I'm a good. skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But, I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. Yeah. They lived alone. The first thing I typed in was born. And no one born. had any reason to hurt them. Nothing. <laughs> Oh. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I wonder just how many. I was depressed. I know, right? I was still pretty sick of the STD. And I came down one morning and they were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. How far this is they'd thrown up a lot. Uh, a little bit. I don't know how long I've been playing this exactly. The police said it was the mushrooms they ate. Dad yeah, was a okay. mushroom I'll stop expert. That so soon. He, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way you would have picked that caps. Please believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. I don't know, maybe. I think I solved it. No! Darn it! How about just. It's something funny to look up. <laughs> Alright, Link well, one wants up the controls. By the way, Ben, I discovered that you can play a game in the rubbish bin. Oop. Smelly. Fart.
I got one. Oh, man. Here, let me sit down. Pyog. <laughs> Dude, I got the perfect one. Here. Let me sit down. Okay, fine. Poor Simon didn't have to kink. <laughs> yeah, that's why they had the police. Seven seconds. When will the police let me back in the house? And they let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... A police station... When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station, but I blamed everything on my friend Eve, so my parents let me off. Should we look up Eve next? After this clip? Yeah. 1984. It was an awful year in the end. 1984 might be a good one. We were one living to look at Doug and well. Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring, and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer. A heat wave. I guess, yeah. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because who are we? Are we're like dying to get a knife to back? The they brought the, in the police. Because we went Friends back to the ninety-four computer to figure up. it out. It was because of the heat. I read all the stuff on the computer, and I played the game that they let me play it on the computer, which is in the rubbish bin with when I chuck. I chuckled when I saw that. Yeah. Rubbish. <laughs> I played the mirror game already. Player one, one for me. Link 101 is playing the rubbish game. I repeat, he is playing the rubbish game. I don't know. Yeah. Free sack. That's for the mirror game. What do you want to look up? <laughs> Nothing. Maybe you have to spill it out. Nineteen. <laughs> oh. Eve? Okay. Well, my friend Eve, I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. So you killed her! <laughs> yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once, and I held Pick Eve's her head spin. underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under, and I kept it under. She murdered someone. And for a moment, just wanted to kill her. I and remember that her. you're like her daughter or sign, like her miscarriage. I think. But that was it. We're I honestly alone. don't remember. Okay. We made up after. <laughs> yeah. It was a love-hate relationship. I also think that she killed him, but it was an accident. I don't know. I forget. I remember it was good. <sighs> Hannah, that's who I want to look up next. That name's familiar. What are you doing talking about Eve? 
Is she crazy? Morse code. Yeah, I did. That seemed important. My mother called me Eve. Oh. Hannah. So what is this house at the end of the street? My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. -N -N -A -H. It's Pound it reads the same backwards as forwards. We well, you know. It doesn't work seen her It's not quite symmetrical <laughs> that well. I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. What? Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was She's not the same Hannah time. then. They're twins. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. Oh, okay. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. I even said I thought they were twins. On and that one of them was the miscarriage, but there we go. Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. I remember it was convoluted. Where are you gonna type in, Ben? Twins? Yeah. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Are you out of your mind? Twins. Why? Okay. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a post on Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. So wait, I'm guessing one of the twins did kill Simon, but not the one that loved him? Okay, for the end of part one. Okay. Here, qu quickly, can I see what those are? Yeah.